deciding on a course of action, it's good to get other points of view to see which ones will work. In these interviews, Larry gets input from three people who have been married for a long time to see how they manage their finances. Contact us either on our website or via email. The addresses are shown at the end of this video. Thank you for joining us. How important is teamwork and finances between you and Carol over the years? How has it been? It's been a learning process. Still? Um, okay. No, it's better you, now. You, you kind of got it, okay. But um, earlier on in the old days when we had cash and not, cash was paid to wages, uh -huh. I used to put my money in a tin box. In oh. tins. Boom, boom, boom. And I used to put my money so much per box, so much per week, and of okay. course then we changed. Good. People were getting checks and then part of their wages instead of cash. Uh -huh. And we've had to change, adapt and use banks more than we did before. Okay. If you were to talk about your um, teamwork between you and Carol, on a scale of one to ten with finances over the years, what would you grade her? Uh, or what would you grade the both of you? How what, you now? Yeah. Uh, it's got to be 9 out of 10. What are your thoughts about finances in your marriage? Okay, so I just see finances as um, a resource. So you need it and it doesn't really matter who's, who's bringing it in or you know, it's about really what God, what God is calling you to. He will provide the provision. Right. Uh, and your children? Uh, do they have needs and wants and you have to decide who gets what? Or? Yeah, so, so uh, we're generous to our children, but we wouldn't take out a loan um, unnecessarily. If there's something that, like, you know, if we were going to buy a car, we would look at, okay, what have we saved towards that? We wouldn't go out and get a big loan. So you actually use money for what it is and you stick within your, you don't try to spend more than you have. No, no, definitely not. And we try and save a little every month and we don't even think about it because that just goes away to one side and that will be for some special treat or for, for um, I, I really believe in having margins and everything. So having a margin in your finance is really important. So, you know, always putting a little away, whatever's coming in. Um, but that's important for everything, for time, uh, everything. Um, what would you tell a young people who's only been married a few years about finances, about how to handle their money? I think what you, I think a really good lesson to, to learn is to is to not hold on to anything tight. Okay. Um, I think you, you need. You need to be sensible and you need to be wise with your, with your money. But, but also, tithing is a really important ah, thing. Ah, tithing, okay. Yeah. What, okay. What, what, you, what you give, what you give back to others. Okay, well that's wonderful advice. So, but, but obviously be, be wise. But if you, if you, if you tithe 10%, God ten will reward you double. Great, thank you. Wonderful. It's really refreshing to see how Lisa, Nigel and Keith talk openly about their money matters. I was able to get something out of all of them. What about you? Next week, Larry and I will be talking to Benza and Sandra about their finances. God bless and bye for now.